recently I have been setting up my GPD Win 3 and I really want to play PS4 Remote Played on it. So today we are setting up our Win 3 in order to play PS4 based on this guide. This is a guide on Reddit from two years ago so I'm going to try to see if that works. So uh, the first step there is a link to the VIG EM bus setup uh, but that was not that is not a latest build so I've put down the link uh, to this latest build uh, in the description box so basically you just go to the link and then scroll down to the bottom and click this x64 MSI and download it and then install it and that's it so that is the first two steps. The third step here has another link. You can click on it. So you can see I've downloaded it for several times already. Uh, basically open it and then unzip it. I have put it on my desktop, so I'm not going to do that here. Basically click on it and then click connect. And that will connect your gamepad on your GPD. Okay, so uh, the next step is to download your um, PS4 Remote Play app. So click here and then you can go here on the right to click um, to this page and then click install app and click agree and then download it. I've already downloaded it once but I'll show you. Just click and click on it. And then uh, it will show you this screen. So okay. So uh, they will have this error saying that your resolution is not high enough to run PS Remote Play. So you have to install it again. So based on this guide, it said uh, it's normal that it won't allow you to run this app. You have to connect your GPD to an external monitor with higher resolution and set it as the main display to install it. So um, now I have just changed my display. I basically uh, use my second display here, click on it and click identify and change the display resolution to the highest to the recommended. So uh, I am going to try to install it again to see if that works. Okay. And yes, it works. Perfect. Install. Ta-da! It's here. So basically, you have to sign in to PSN first. After signing into your account, you have this page here, and then you click Confirm and Continue, and choose your device. So I'm using PS4. I'll click here. And then you have to link it. Um, I'm going to show you my screen on GPD next so you can see how it works on my GPD.
So here is a very quick tip. Just ensure you when you um, use this uh, Phoenix uh, agent, make sure you change the controller to DualShock 4 controller from here and click connect. That will enable you to play on your PS remote play or otherwise if you keep it as Xbox 360 controller it will not work. And don't click exit here. If you click it then it will lost control and it just won't work so you have to keep it open like this but it will be on the background so it's okay. And just a little tip for changing the resolution. So uh, when you go to display, you will have this kind of screens and you want to use uh, identify and then uh, show only on two. Here's the display. When you click show only on two, you have two displays. If you keep it on one, which is your Win three, you not be in. You'll not be able to install the PS Remote Play anyway. So click two here, and click identify, and it will fit your monitor's resolution. So, uh, one ninety uh. 1920 times uh, 1080 this is uh, one of those resolutions that you can actually install your um, remote play app so here it is and it just worked fine as I have shown you and that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching bye